What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Joanne Gray, and I'm back today, as promised, with another full wig review. I mentioned in a previous video that I was going to be stocking up on these totally instant weave wigs, and I'm just now getting around to presenting the first one to you. This is style number HZA030. HZA030. It's a real short crop style and it's 100% synthetic. It is a total cap. I have alopecia. I have no hair out. I have no hair to pull out. So you can wear this wig if you don't have hair or if your hair is limited. This is again HZA030 100% synthetic hair and it says a synthetic Sensational results in 60 seconds, and this is from Sensational. I'm going to go around for you and show you what I came up with. Again, you can take a look at her and um, see what she's doing with hers, and I'll show you what I did with mine. So this is the side from me. Um, this is my right side that you're viewing, and I'll go slowly around so you can see the back short tapered wig, expertly tapered in the back. And then the top of the hair, it's got a small skin top in it. And this is the left side of my face. And this is what I've done with it. And then in the front, I'll let you see. It's a quick, easy style, but it takes some work to come up with anything. So this is what she does with what she did with hers, and this is pretty much how you can wear the wig. What I did today was I pulled it down on my face, like it's lower past my hairline. It has two. It has a huge comb here in the front and it has a long comb in the back but not nearly as long as this comb in the front. I don't have any hair to put you know to put in there and so that I can give it some length I pulled the hair pull the wig down past my hairline so that I can have some bangs and when I first got the wig initially it's you know it seemed to favor this side of my face and it really doesn't look bad when you go over to this side actually once you pull it down on your face and you have some length in the front of your face to actually work with you could actually do it that way too it's not not bad at all it's synthetic hair and it's it's pretty movable but I found with these sensational totally instant weave wigs the cap you can kinda do a little pull to it cause you know you can just kinda manipulate the whole cap around on the deal to you know come up with some style but when you first get it out of the pack it pretty much is styled to go you know just straight down and again this is still off of my face I mean close on my face rather you know like not right at my hairline if I pulled this wig back to my hairline the bangs would be here okay not cool and so if you do that and you put it right there you stick those combs in you're going to find a difficult time in styling this wig I decided to pull it beyond the bangs so it can have some length to it and actually stagger just a little bit I mean it's it's a cute wig but it takes some manipulating and some trickery to um, you know get it to in the front to you know work to your advantage to look nice but you know all in all it's a cute wig it took a while to do a review on it because I really couldn't get it to do what I wanted to do but I say now the end result of actually pulling it down further down on my face has you know given it a two thumbs up you know the back is no problem it was just trying to find some kind of way to style the front of the hair so that it frames your hair nicely. When you get these wigs, you really just have to work with them. Use a comb, use a brush, use your fingernails. 
and you know just work with things this hair will actually go behind your ears you know but you know what it looks like I don't know but you know you could push you know push the hair up you know you, is there things that you can do with this wig you just have to spend some time working with it and training it to go in the direction that you want but one thing I have found <clears throat> about wigs like this these totally instant weave wigs is that you could put this back on your head tomorrow you just might not get this style back you know but at least you have a general idea so if you have this wig at home and you're kind of struggling with it trying to figure out exactly what you're going to do with the wig because when you know because the bang is cropped so short just pull it down onto your head a little more you know down on your face you can't see the band but the band is at least an inch away from my hairline so that you can have a little hair closer to you you know closer down you know have more bangs giving more length to your bangs you can actually pull this wig you know to the side it doesn't have to be perfect. You can twist these wigs. You can do whatever you want to do with it. You pull it, twist it down more to the side. You give it more length on this side. And you can find other things to do with it. But I think it's a cute wig. I bought it from Rocky Trading. And it's inexpensive. The Rocky Trading, these wigs are, I can't even remember the price, but they're cheap. I think the price might have gone up on them. But I'm, but I'm not sure. Now that everybody knows about Rocky Trade and some of these wig prices have gotten ridiculous. Some of the things that I wanted to get that were really cheap, you know, $22 or less, and now, you know, $40 and $50, those Zuri wigs, I wanted those over there. So, anyway... You, your um, options with this particular wig are limitless. You're not really limited with this wig because if you don't like it, you can cut this wig. You can, you know, taper into this wig and style it, you know, to to your liking. But it's easy once you figure out that you're going to have to do some different type of manipulating to it. Like I said, um, pulling it down closer on your face so that it's not so short and crop looking and just uh, you know styling it to a way that frames your face all our face shapes are different all our head sizes are different and these wigs are going to look different on you than they look on me and yours is going to you know and vice versa you know you're going to wear this wig different than I am and I'm going to wear it different than you are but we can still we can all rock it you know and like I said, it's really cute. It's really easy. I say for the price, you can get this wig and work with it. You can always cut into these wigs. You can use styling products on these wigs. You can use hairspray to hold a, a style in place. It's, just, it's really not a complicated thing. Um, wigs are easy to style, easy to manipulate, and easy to keep in the style once you spray it with some hairspray. But this wig is cute. I say it's a winner. I give it two thumbs up after you realize that you can work with this wig by pulling it down and styling it to your liking. So this concludes my review of this wig, the Totally Instant Weave A HZ A030 and this is in a 1B. Uh, one thing to note about the Sensationale products, they do a really good job of their mixes. So if you were to get a 1B30 or a 430, they really do look pretty. They're not like really big globs of or big chunks of color. They actually distribute it nicely. So don't be afraid to play around with the colors in these wigs. You know, even these short wigs, they they do distribute the colors nicely because some wigs you can get in the piano street colors and they look like checkerboards and they and they're awful. Okay, to me, yeah, now I wouldn't choose it for myself. They look good on other people, but I just don't think they look nice on me. But this concludes my review 
of HZ8030 Totally Instant Weave in a number 1B. I say get it if you like it. It's an easy style um, and don't be afraid to brush, comb, spray, spritz, and cut these wigs to frame your face. This concludes my review and I will be back later with another wig review. God bless.